When I was 13, I told my mum and her boyfriend at the time that I was going to create something in music that no one has ever done before. My mum smiled, maybe not a belief, but definitely encouragement. My mum's boyfriend laughed at me and said that it isn't possible, as everything's been done before, and even if it was, I wouldn't be capable to do it. I briefly argued back for a bit that if you really wanted something, you can achieve it. This made him angry, he started to blow insults at me. Um, I hung my head low and spent the next four years in my bedroom writing a song every day. That's all I did. At the age of 17, I decided Spain wasn't where it was at for me. And I decided if I'm going to chase this dream, seriously, I can't do it there. So I moved to the UK in search of finding like-minded people. Bro, like, where I grew up, I mean, I think being 14, 15, 16 is a confusing age anyways, but doing what I wanted to do with the friends I had just was literally like, I know I'm saying like, oh, a long shot, like it was hard. No, it was unheard of. Like no one, I don't think where I grew up, no one's ever wanted to be like a, rock star like do you know what I mean like that just didn't happen <laughs> I was not in a good place like do you know what I mean like why do you think a 17 year old decided nah fuck this I'm gonna leave my family leave my friends leave everything I know and just go somewhere you at the age of 17 like I wasn't happy man I think I think um, friendship is a weird one mm. sometimes I, well for example I think with you guys like sometimes I think some people like don't have this close friendship. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some people don't have that. Um, exactly. Also, some people might get in, have that type of relationship at the age of fifty. The fact that it kind of happened when it happened. You know, I, I definitely I don't believe in like destiny, but I do believe like definitely in luck. Yeah. Because like that is lucky. Mm. The fact we're here. Like that is really lucky. Like that, a lot of little things had to fall into place just so we turned up here. Everyone always asks me why I go to Stratford. Yeah. When I live in Birmingham. People say, why did you go to Stratford and live in Warwick? People say, why did you go to Stratford? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why, why did we all go to Stratford? That is, that is very weird. That is that is crazy. There's no reason for any of us to be able to. That, that feels like a Doctor Who episode. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like we're going to have to save the world some day or some shit like that. Oh my god! Oh my god! I think this is going to be the first of many mm. gigs. I need to I go to the is. toilet. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm there. My name's Archie Shanahan. This is Miriam yeah. Adam. You are confident enough, Jess. You're the uh, front man of the best new emo band in the world. Um, 
last my last birthday I decided I'm gonna put some goals on my post-it notes on my wall and one of them was doing my first 300 capacity headline to sell it out and well December 21st 2021 Archie, Freddie and I, we did that, I mean, without question the best night of our lives. For me, Miriam Adams is, well it's hard to put into words but I don't know man, you guys are just everything. My last goodbye has helped me in ways I didn't think were possible. Now, thanks to you, I'm truly coming to terms with losing the only person who I ever told everything to you. But one of my um, favourite moments is that, like, uh, uh, the, you killed the instruments and it was just um, you, Jack, and the crowd. And it was just, take, take, take your clothes off. Um, mosh pit because it's like... It's like you just, it's the ultimate height. It's just, yeah, I want to go home. I was in like, like an abusive relationship. Uh, uh, it says I love you, but I want to go home, like, home in that, home in that lyric for me was myself. Like, I wanted to be myself. I think Mosh Pit is the one song that I've really connected to from Miriam Adams this year. It's basically like, for a single moment, holding someone you love while your world collapses around you and you're just screaming at the world. And that's what I wanted to say. But the main, um, the main clause to getting me out there and inspired me to really push for music myself was Miriam Adams. My story is, at the, um, at the forum, the 300 cap show, the big one, um, I brought my boyfriend with me. And that's the first gig we've ever gone to together. And um, throughout the whole time during Babe, we were kind of like, we just had a moment and it was like really sweet and we've both talked about it since and it's the happiest we've ever been in our entire lives. My favourite Miriam moment would by far be the forum gig. I think that night was just incredible for both all, both you guys and all the fans too. But I don't even want to call us fans, so to say, because you guys make it feel more like a family more than anything. I remember the first Miriam show I went to, and it was the um, socially distanced one at the Castle and Falcon. Um, and you came on, and like a room full of people just screaming the words to anger, anger, cute. I was like, fuck it out, what's this? Need to get on board with it. The song My Last Goodbye um, really means a lot to me and it kind of really hits home because it describes my exact position in the perfect words. Last year I lost my best mate so I was in a very similar situation and I never would have thought I would ever have to say goodbye yet alone not getting the chance to. The emotion behind the words that were sang, especially live, it was very comforting in a weird way and it felt like the people that I love today as well as him, the person that I loved that's no longer here with us, it felt as cliche as it is that they were united and it was all just a safe space. Basically, about a week ago I was listening to LA I was like, I was not having a good day, I was listening to LA, stuck LA on, and literally as soon as like Harrison's bit came on, um, I got an email from Oxford telling me that I got in. Hi guys, I think the best Miriam moment for me is when we was all at Central and the photos were just getting taken man, and it made me feel like it was actually a part, I was actually part of something special and like, I even missed one on my train just to go back to listen to you guys again. I had to run back. <laughs> I just believe in you guys. I don't know why I do. Like, I don't even know why I believe in you guys so much. I just do. Like, it's not something I can describe. I'm not used to being such a fan of someone's music. So it makes me feel like a kid again when I am. Like,
my name's Archie Shanahan. This is Miriam Adams. Well, Tim said I've lost. There you go. This is Miriam Adams. The best new fucking emo band in the world. In the, world. In the, in the, the whole world. fucking oh, yeah, world. Baby.